Hello everybody and welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf. Today's video is all about getting rid of that dreaded chicken wing. So what is that dreaded chicken wing a lot of players and a lot of amateurs talk about? Well, once you take a nice athletic posture, it all happens after impact. So the common fact would be is these elbows separating. So my left elbow is getting further away than my right elbow during impact and after impact here. So this kind of position you can see. And also you can see my left elbow, side of my left arm, has come off my left chest for a right-handed player. So the common fact of the chicken wing is, left elbow off the body and a left elbow getting further away from the right. Now, if you looked at this from down the line, you'd see this position here. You'd see that my left elbow before you see my club head. So the club is being dragged to the left, not being nicely released down the target line. So again, just to summarize, if you are a person that has a chicken wing and this is you, you would see impact the left elbow for a right-handed player getting further away from the right and this gap and this area here for me would see the left part of my chest and my left arm and elbow. So if you're a person that struggles with this dreaded chicken wing and this impact like you can see here, I will predominantly see a lot of misses off to the right. Now, this is due to basically causing this face to predominantly stay open during impacts, but also, not only when you get misses off to the right, you generally won't hit the ball as far as you should. So, you're not swinging the golf club at its maximum potential, so your maximum potential club head speed, whatever that may be. This chicken wing is definitely limiting your club head speed, limiting how good you can strike the golf ball, and therefore, overall, is how far you're going to hit the ball and how accurate and consistent you're going to be. So, let's address this and let's get that dreaded chicken wing out of your golf game. We're going to talk through two drills of how we're going to get this dreaded chicken wing out of your golf game. The first drill is nice and simple. So it doesn't require hitting the golf ball at all. So it can be done at home or even done in the lounge. Wherever you want to do it, it doesn't require a golf ball. So all you're going to do, put your lead hand on the golf club. From there, we'd all agree here on the way back, we like to create an L shape. So I want you to feel that you're going to create the same L shape on the way through. Now you can see here that my elbow and side of my arm is on the side of my body. So same again, back, through. The club is higher than my shoulder, my elbow is nice and folded. And again, back and through. So you can see here, the most important thing, this elbow wouldn't be getting further away. It'll be staying pretty much constant and my left elbow is on the side of my body. And again, back, through. So what would I see if I didn't do that move and if I did drag the golf club and cause that chicken wing? Well, I'd see this. So the opposite of that would be this. Dragging the golf club. Golf club pretty much at the same height as my shoulder. Palm facing towards the ground. But of the club not pointing at my green disc. So what do we want to feel? Back and through. Arm on the side of the shoulder. Point the butt of the club at the green disc. Palm at the camera. And again. And I want you to feel that the chest just follows this golf club once you've hit the ball. Once you, follow, once you would have hit the ball, let the chest follow the golf club. Palm, and that's the feeling I want you to create. This is a nice feeling because, for one, it'll feel that the golf club is releasing. So for a lot of people that do drag the golf club, this will feel like the club is really releasing through impact. Now, that is, that is fine, it's because it's completely opposite for what you have done in the past. So what I want you to do is let's train it in there, here, and here. Now, the key thing here is, and why a lot of people struggle doing this, is grip pressure. I mean, I feel like I haven't got really a lot of grip pressure on here. Nice and light in my hand, so if I had to say, if it was out of 10, 10 being like I was strangling it, zero being that I wasn't holding the club at all, I'd say mine was five or six here. So nice and loose in the arms, let that club head release, arm on the side of the body, simply point the butt of the club after impact down at the green disc. So, drill number one, and like we said earlier, if we can get this golf club releasing and get rid of the chicken wing in our golf game, we're gonna create some more club head speed. Now, this is really simple to demonstrate to everybody here. So if I took it back here with no fold and through with no fold, you can see my arm is pretty rigid and there's not a lot of club head speed. Whereas now, if I fold and fold, I can generate that club head speed right at the bottom of the impact, right at the bottom of the ball, a lot easier. So that's how we're gonna increase club head speed. That's how we're gonna improve our strike and gonna hit further, more consistent golf shots. Drill number two complements drill number one. And drill number two is more of a feeling that you could really take straight onto the golf course. That's why I really like this one. So if we said before that if we had a chicken wing, we'd see after impact, the left elbow of a right handed player getting further away from the right and this gap between our chest and our left arm. So why does this happen with a lot of players? Well, this happens really to not have a very active body, an active chest area through the golf ball. So, if I made a swing here, keeping my chest pretty much at you and facing the golf ball, you'd see this. Gap between my left elbow, chicken wing, 
arm being dragged around my body, chest staying at you. So we're highlighting there that my chest and my body isn't very active through the hitting area. So simple feeling this. So dress the golf ball nice and athletically. Imagine you are throwing a heavy ball. Let's, let's keep a relationship after impact between the face of our golf club and our zip. So imagine a foot after impact, the zip and the club face were mirroring each other. So they're following each other around. So again, so let's say that following each other around, I've hit the ball, zip is following my club face into this position here. And that's why it helps in drill number one. You can see here, but the club is pointing down at my green disc. And again, so my feeling here, get the zip to follow the golf ball and keep in a relationship with my club face. Into the nice position here, and again. Now you can see here the relationship with my zip is following my club face, but most importantly, this arm, my left arm, my lead arm for a right handed player, is staying on the side of my body, so we're not getting that chicken wing. So again, let's link this back to club head speed. We're going to take some more club head speed, more consistent impact, and overall, we're going to hit some better golf shots. So let's highlight that one more time. Don't have an active body, and zip doesn't follow the club face, get a chicken wing. Simply, zip and club face are connected. All the way through, nice rotation with the left forearm, pointing down at our green disc, and we've released this golf club without chicken wing in the golf club. We've talked about stages, drill number one will be our first stage. Getting the feeling of this left arm folding, but the club pointing down at my green disc. Moving it on to a more of a real situation and a feeling to take out onto the golf course is drill number two. That's where the zip and the club face are connected. Let them follow each other, but the club points down. One more time, back and through. See there, really nice impact, really tried to force myself to get into that position where I was holding it, but was pointing at the green disc. And for me there, I felt like I created some really easy club head speed. So this is a really good drill and hopefully eradicate the chicken wing from your golf game, add some club head speed, and ultimately, improve your golf scores out on the golf course. Thank you for watching today's video on Alex Elite Golf. Now you can eradicate that chicken wing from your golf game, increase your club speed, and get a better strike down at the golf ball. If you've not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Plenty of content coming throughout the winter months, leading up to the start of the season, and helping you prepare for the summer golf season. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.